What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC Climb video. Today we are featuring a team created by a player by the name of Jonathan that pl uh, placed in the top 32 at the San Diego Regionals. And I think this team's actually really, really cool and interesting. All of this player's information is in the description below if you want to check that out. But the team has some really cool stuff uh, with... In particular, this Weakness Policy Dragonite. I think this is a really, really cool set. Um, mainly because you have multi-scale on Dragonite to take a hit, but you also have Friend Guard Mousehold to really mitigate the amount of damage that you're taking on Dragonite. And then, uh, consequentially, you're popping Weakness Policy and maybe setting up Dragon Dance and Tailwind at the same time to really start snowballing with Dragonite. I think it's really, really cool. And then you have some other staples like uh, Nasty Plot Goldango. You've got Skeledurge with a Fairy Terra typing, which I think is pretty neat. Um, and then you have Meowskarada, pretty standard Meowskarada set, but just a solid Pokemon. Azumarill is actually really cool on this team as well. I've uh, featured a couple teams recently that use Azumarill, and it's just really good into this current metagame um, with things like Baxcalibur, Opposing Dragonites, um, Meowskaradas with the Grass Terra typing. I mean, this really plays into just so many different Pokemon. Um, and it's just a really, really strong option because of its Water Fairy typing. It's just a really, really cool Pokemon. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, the goal is to hit 5,000 subs by July, and I think that's definitely an achievable goal. And if you, at any point you enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment below. But let's get into it. All right, very interesting. It looks like they're trying to get a uh, Dox Bun set up here, which I think is kind of cool. Um... Hmm. Very interesting. I think Skeletor just actually looking pretty solid here. Skeletor with Mousehold actually doesn't look terrible. The biggest issue I'm going to face is what's my answer to... It's probably Terra Steel Doxbun, right? Um, it's immune to fire type attacks. I think Skeleturge is my answer, answer, but I do need... Um, I need to have the ability to set up... I think Dragonite actually goes here too. And then... Perhaps Azumarill? I think... My answer to Doxbun, since it's immune to all fire type attacks, is going to be Skeledurge, but I need a couple Torch Song stacks first, I'm thinking. This team's very immune to fire types, which is kind of cool. Um, what do they got? Okay. So I'm actually, what am I down to do here? I think I'm down to Super Fang, the Torkoal. Yeah. Oh, I, cl I, I clicked too fast. No, that's so bad. Armor Cannon actually might just knock Mousehold out. That did decent damage in the sun. Okay, that's cool. They're using Torkoal to set up both Doxbun and Armor Rouge. Wait, no. Armor Rouge has weak armor. What in the world? Okay. Uh, we swap in Azumarill here. I figured it was uh, Flash Fire, actually. Um, let's think. I'm okay going for a Shadow Ball into that slot. 
And I gotta think about what they're potentially gonna rotate into. You know, honestly, I'm kind of okay just going for liquidation here. What comes out? Azumarill comes out. What kind of defensive Terra do they have on their Torkoal that they're carrying Torkoal? Grass. Interesting. That did such big damage, though. Oh, and they have Solar Beam. That's really cool. We are Assault Vested, which is very big. Um... Now that they've committed their Terra... I feel good Shadow Balling that slot. And we've got Dragonite in the back. I think I want to preserve uh, Azumarill. We're going to rotate here. And that switches out. That's why I Shadow Ball, just in case. Um, they're likely going into Armor Rouge here. Yep, that's exactly why we made that play. We go for the Defensive Terra on the two Skeleturge, so we don't take huge damage from... Uh, so we won't take huge damage from Azumaro. They protect with Azumaro, that's good. That actually is the best case scenario. Armor Rouge goes down. That's a really cool team, though. I do like the Lava Plume uh, Torkoal, actually, to set up. That's really cool. Um... Uh, we are multi-scale on Dragonite, so I think I'm okay going for a Tailwind here. To go for Flower Trick on the Skeledurge. That did a lot. We do have Citrus Berry, which is nice. Puts us in a really good spot. We get Tailwind up. So now it comes down to Grass, Torkoal, and uh, Meowscarada. Hmm. So I'm definitely down to apply pressure to the Torkoal and go for a Fire Punch into Meowscarada because we do still have multi-scale up. Oh, that's actually... Okay, perfect. That just KOs that. And Torch Song finishes out the game. Wow. That was an interesting game against a really interesting team. I really liked that team. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> really liked that team. Skeleturge went absolutely crazy for us that game, though. Okay. So this is... 
the regional champion team. We, we've been seeing quite a bit of this. Um, I don't hate the Oscarada lead here. Yaskarada and Goldango doesn't seem terrible here. Um, and then what do I want in the back? Skeletor seems pretty nice as like my Terra option. And I think Azumarill plays really well into this team. I thought about maybe bringing Mousehold to knock that Garganackle down, but honestly, I think if we can preserve Goldango, we're going to be in a pretty strong spot. Alright. Goldango and Garganackle lead. The question becomes, do I think they do a defensive Terra typing here? Right? So I'm actually down to protect Goldango. They go for a Terra on the Witch Pokemon. On a Garganackle. I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. We protect with our gold dango. And we go for knockoff. That should KO, right? Oh, so close. Oh, I forgot. I think that one's actually um That one's actually calced to have the defenses to take a knockoff. So Miascarada takes a pretty good hit. Um this turn, I'm down to U-turn into Goldango and go for Nasty Plot here. That doesn't do enough. Really? Okay. I was pretty convinced that was going to do what I needed it to do. <laughs> That's really tough. Okay, we do actually... The question becomes, does Salt Cure just knock us out now? Because that puts us in a really rough spot. It may just knock us out. Yeah, it does. Okay. That puts us in a horrible, horrible spot. Um. Okay. So I think what I want to do, I think our best play... What else do they maybe have? They could have their own Meowskarada. That could be problematic. Um... I don't think I actually need to Terra yet. And I could just go for a knockoff onto Golden Go. That crit would have been great turn one. So there's our first stack of Torch Song. And they go for Salt Cure onto Skeladurge. Dirge. 
What do they bring out? What else do they have? They have their own Meow Scarada. I think I'm okay tearing now and targeting that slot. Maybe switching into a Zoomerl was a better play there. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Do proc our citrus berry there. The question becomes what do they have in the back, right? Do they switch into um I'm almost down to flower trick here. Mm. I was hoping they would switch into their Tauros, but it just didn't end up it didn't end up being enough. Um pretty significant damage there. The Oscarada goes down. And they salt cure our Miascarada. What's their last Pokemon? Excalibur. Um, I think I'm down to try and slack off here and U-turn out into... Yeah, I think that's my play. Maybe I should have protected. I think I should have protected. Ooh, good play. But I'm actually okay with that because they could have ice sharded and that would have been scarier. Double protect turn. I think we have to go for an Azumarill swap here, because they'll probably go for an Ice Shard onto Meowskarada. Yep. That did a lot of damage. I think I'm down to slack off again and go for play rough onto Backscalibur. So they go for Icicle Spear. I 
I think I should have protected. I should have protected that turn. That's just a knockout, though. That's pretty big. Garganak will use his salt cure. That did so much. The question becomes, do we have enough with uh, Meowskarada to do what we need it to do? Um... <sighs> the question now also is, do I go for a knockoff? I think we do go for knockoff. Knockoff into liquidation here? So they do protect, okay. did a lot um I think knockoff into liquidation is honestly our only hope so we get the knockoff I don't know if it's in range or not oh what a close battle what an absolute insane battle oh my gosh that was incredibly close. Um, wow. Okay. Skeletor did so much work uh, with Slack Off and just stacking Torch Songs. It played so well into that Garganackle. It's a really good answer for that Garganackle. Um, I think the better play when I did get Icicle Speared was to protect and go for Play Rough. Uh, that would have put me in a better spot to finish out that game. Um, but we did manage to pull off the dub, which is great. Uh, Pinkurchin is interesting here. Um. Very interesting. What's my lead? I don't hate Mousehold and Dragonite here with Goldango in the back. Do I bring Azumarill here? Azumarill plays fairly well into a lot of that. Um... Honestly, the question is, do I even need Mousehold? I actually kind of like Skeledurge here and Azumarill and Goldango. I think that actually is really solid. <laughs> I'm curious what their lead is, though. Okay, um, gotta look. So I think my play here is to Tailwind. And I'm down to Terra Shadow Ball. Yeah, I think I'm game for that. Let's see if they also go for a terra a defensive terra typing. I think that could get interesting. This is kind of an aggressive play going for Tailwind, because if Dragon Darts lands twice on Dragonite, I don't know if we're defensive enough to take that.
they just opt to protect turn one. We get Tailwind up, and what do they go for? And they go for Spirit Break, which is great because they activate my Weakness Paw. That did so much damage, though. Oh, they crit. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Alright, so that's a pretty strong lead. Oh, it's a mirror. Uh, that's interesting. Um, I gotta think about this turn. I think we e-speed over here, and we go for another Shadow Ball. Do they have anything that doesn't take damage from it? No, nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm okay to go for a Shadow Ball here. They go for Fire. Interesting. That did not do as much as I wanted it to. Uh, and now they trick. Now we have an Iron Ball. And they Shadow Ball into Dragonite. Interesting. That did really good damage. Okay, Azumarill comes out to play now. And we can start... Okay, so I think we Aqua Jet, and we go for Torch Song onto that slot. They could protect, potentially, but I'm just not super threatened by that Grimmsnarl. An ideal turn is they rotate into Meowskarada. And we break Sash with Aqua Jet and then Torch Song it. Magnezone comes out, I'm okay with that too. Double switch here. There's the Meowskarada. Oh no. It said Flora Cat, and I was assumed I just assumed it was Meowskarada. Magnezone goes down. already used their Terra. I'm down to Liquidation over here. And what's my last Pokemon? Goldango? Um, yeah, I'm down to Liquidation there and go for a Torch Song. I believe this is my last turn of Trick Room too. So they go for Fake Out, which is crazy. Cool play. And they Acid Spray. Very cool. But we're really just set up on Skeledurge. Skeledurge proved to be such a good member of this party. Zoom roll flinches. We are out of Tailwind now, which gets a bit scary, but their Dragapult's also incredibly weak now. So 
So my assumption is they protect their um They protect their Dragapult here. Which means we can go for a double into um Glamora. Because Aqua Jet should just knock out um their Dragapult. No, they don't. Crazy. And they go for Flamethrower, actually. Wow. That's crazy. That puts us in a good spot, though, honestly. That puts us in a very strong position. Um. So Goldango comes in here. Do we get poisoned by that? Or does Good as Gold protect us from poison? It does protect us. Okay. So really what it comes down to now is uh, they got to pick a target. Pick a target, any target. And we Aqua Jet, that should just KO and win the battle. Nice! This team is so fun. Really fun team, honestly. Wow. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Super fun team, honestly. Like, absolutely awesome team. I cannot get over how good it is. Skeletor just did so much for us that game, like... Well, all of these games, honestly, against the Garganackle. It just is such a dominant Pokemon if they ignore it and start letting you build Torch Songs. And people often forget, like, just Torch Song into something even if it's not very effective because you're building those stacks for subsequent turns. It just makes it a very snowball-y Pokemon and honestly makes it my favorite starter to use from Gen 9 in competitive play right now. It's so good. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content from me daily. Check out the Discord where people over there playing Pokemon all the time. And if you want to see more from me, check out this video where I talk about the 7-star Greninja Raid and potential Pokemon that could be really good to counter that. And then also check out this video where I used a Scrappy Flamigo team on the ladder. Super fun. Honestly, really fun team. So definitely check that video out. But until next time, peace.